everyone and welcome to In Liquid Color, where for the entire month of July I will be participating in World Watercolor Month. For those of you who haven't heard yet, July is World Watercolor Month, which was started last year by Doodle Wash. This year, YouTuber and watercolorist Angela Fair created the official prompts, which I will more or less be following here on this channel throughout the month. However, there will be a little bit of juggling here and there, which I will explain towards the end of the video. There will be a new video for you every single weekday throughout the month of July, and I sincerely hope that you enjoy this watercolor adventure with me. For those of you who are wondering about my usual videos, reviews, and mini-series, please check out my last video where I explain a little bit more about the format of the videos for this month. I will link it up in the corner above and down below in the description so that you can easily find it. The short and sweet of it is that the regular videos will return next month, but in the meantime, do look for product names in my daily videos for little mini-reviews here and there throughout the month. As for the actual content of the videos, some of these will have voiceovers like today, while others will just have some nice music playing for you, and all of them will be time lapses of the paintings that I'm actually doing for the challenge. I will always put a list of my supplies in the description for you below, and I do hope that you enjoy learning more about me as an artist, and that you'll even join along with me and the other people who are doing this challenge. As for today's video, when you see this, it will be day three of World Watercolor Month, which means the official prompt is sand and seashells. However, due to our holiday here in the US for 4th of July, me needing to travel for said holiday, which will affect my recording schedule, as well as a couple other factors, this week in particular is going to have some jumbled up prompts. I will be doing all of the prompts uh, from the official list, however, they'll just be in a little bit different order here at the beginning. Since I won't be doing any videos on the weekends as well, very occasionally I think I wanted to swap a couple of them around because there were some prompts that I was really excited about with you that fell on weekends that I wouldn't be recording and vice versa, so just to explain that little tidbit there. So long story short, the prompt for this video that you're watching right now is Strong and Free, which was the first day of the World Watercolor Month official prompts. However, the reason I wanted to make sure to share this video with you first is that when I saw the list, this one, I knew immediately what I wanted to do for it. As the horse lover that I am, it took all about two seconds for me to associate the words strong and free with a wild horse like proudly standing over a field with a nice blue sky behind here. So here she is. I did want to show you the journal that I'm using for this challenge, but I completely forgot to record it at the beginning, so I will make sure to include it in the next video that you see. It's a Canson XL watercolor journal with 30 pages, which is just about nearly perfect for our 31 day challenge. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to cut down my last sheet of paper and slide it in there, or paint on one of the back sides of the other pages. If you saw my watercolor paper comparison video, you know that this is definitely not my favorite type of paper. I've already been fighting with it a ton uh, just in the first two days of the challenge, but I did want something affordable and accessible and something that I could keep all of these paintings together with, so this is what I ended up coming home with. For this painting in particular, I am using Pentel Aqua brushes in sizes large and small. There's a three pack available on Amazon, I'll put that in the link uh, in the description below again for you, and I'm also using my Schminka paints. I of course had a ton of fun with this one as I always do with horses, but I did want to challenge myself so I picked a different angle that I'm used to working with. I really like focusing on faces and portraits, so for this one I wanted to kind of turn the horse around and have a unique perspective on it. The small aqua brush is fantastic for fine lines like the mane and the tail because there's a constant stream of water flowing through it so your brush doesn't dry out. And the larger brush allows you to do larger areas like the sky and the larger areas of the horse. In general, I've been really appreciative of how loose and expressive the water brushes allow me to be compared to using traditional brushes. And at the moment, I'm getting a total kick out of using them. Although I'm traveling for the holiday tomorrow, I will still have a video for you that I'm actually going to be recording, I guess, today as you're watching this. It'll be tomorrow for me, but today as you're watching this. I am still keeping to doing a painting every single day for the challenge to kind of really keep the soul of the challenge intact. Um, and so I'm, I don't want to double up on one day and skip another day, but just because of the recording schedule this first week, they're just a little bit out of order. However, after this, I will be recording and painting videos on the same day that they release to you, which means I'll be painting in the morning, recording them, editing them, and then posting them later in the afternoon or evening. On Wednesday, I'll be doing the prompt that should have been today, which is sand and seashells, while Thursday we're doing on the boardwalk. 
Friday will be summer skies, and then starting next week on Monday, we will be right back on track with all the official prompts in the correct order for the remainder of the month so that it's easier for you to all follow along at home. So sorry for the confusion in the meantime, but thanks for sticking with me so I could show you some of the paintings that I'm really excited about. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to give it a like if you enjoyed it. Please let me know below if you are participating in the World Watercolor Challenge. Don't forget to mark your post on social media with hashtag World Watercolor Month so other artists can find them. And I will see you all tomorrow.